I'm Tom Gualtieri. I'm David Sisko. I'm Words. I'm Music. David and I met at the BMI Lehman Engel Musical Theater Workshop back in 2003, and we've been writing together ever since. And even back then, we were frustrated by the lack of diversity on Broadway. So we pledged to each other that we would be committed to what was then called multi-ethnic casting. Today, that idea has expanded beyond ethnicity to include artists from more communities than we can list here. Transgender, disabled, body positive, gender fluid, everyone you can or can't imagine. We wanna create new work for artists from communities that haven't often seen themselves in the center of the story. Draw the Circle Wide is our way of doing that while having important conversations about diversity and representation in the process. We interview artists from all walks of life, then we write a song just for them, based on their interview. Ryan Redmond has a string of Broadway shows under her belt, including Bring It On and If Then, and has already worked with dozens of theatrical luminaries in her career. But she made history as the first woman to play Olaf in Broadway's Frozen. When Ryan sat down to talk with us, she was straightforward, often hilarious, and totally down to earth. about the uh, origin of your beautiful name. Okay, so I asked my mom this and she said that she just wanted to have an R name for to match with Redmond, my last name. And uh, my older brother was Russell and she was like, I think I want to continue with the R's. And um, I, th I imagine it's some sort of like Irish connection, add an extra N for some femininity. Uh, which has proven to be an interesting journey um, with people pronouncing my name. But, oh, I get Rian, I get Ryan, I get, you know, anything you can imagine. Mm. Rihanna, I'm like, Rihanna, how do you read? What do you read? Um, no, but I get a lot of interesting pronunciations because of my extra N, but okay. I do enjoy the spelling and I have always loved my name, so she knew she said it wasn't me. school in the eighth grade that um, they were doing a production of Annie and for some reason I don't know fearless 12 year old Ryan was like I'm an audition for the musical and um, I just basically listened to Andrew McArdle on repeat and was mm -hmm. like trying to emulate her voice and copy her because I was like I'm gonna get the role of Annie and um, I practiced and practiced and practiced and auditioned and I was like I got this and the cast list came out and I was Mr. Bundles, the laundry man. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Bundles. I know, foreshadowing for my gender bending right. uh, <laughs> roles now. Um, uh, I had a teacher at a foundation that I work very near and dear, that is very near and dear to my heart that I work with now, Broadway Dreams Foundation. Uh, I was at one of their intensives, the very first one in Atlanta, and Kate Guyton was teaching at mm -hmm. this intensive and she, uh, um, as a teacher at NYU and I had never been to New York in my entire life but I kind of connected with her and was like she looks like me I love everything about her I want to be near her and so I got it in my mind that I was going to NYU and I applied and, did. and I did Ryan was one of my students and I remember us having a lot of fun in that class I mean I'm good yes <laughs> can you imagine I'm, I'm like safe. that's yeah. not how I remember yeah. <laughs> I just remember that group of students being really fun. Like, you guys were a good group. I made my Broadway debut in Bring It On, which was a completely original musical based on the cheerleading franchise movies. And uh, I sort of fell into that right place at the right time. Um, I was still at NYU and um, I was asked to come in and audition for it based upon a concert that they saw me in uh, with the Broadway Dreams Foundation. Mm. Everything really goes back to the Broadway Dreams Foundation. Mm. Um, and yeah, so I, got, I happened to be in the right place at the right time and I went into that room of that A-list team and they all say that it just, it was a perfect match and I 
thank my lucky stars every day that 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 was the case because I feel like that character is me and I am her and it just was a, a perfect amalgamation of the two of us and so yeah the new musicals just sort of fell into my lap for lack of a better phrase <laughs> Um, got the audition, I first of all thought it was a mistake because um, it still said baritone, it still said he, he was using male pronouns, and I called my agents and I was like, you guys, I don't think this is right, I think you sent me the wrong email, and they're like, no, we, we wish that we could say we submitted you, but they, they asked for you. Um, and I think it was uh, Rachel Hoffman who works at Telsey who has cast three out of my four Broadway shows. Mm -hmm. The other one is Craig Burns at Telsey. So Telsey is, uh, speaking of loyalty, been extremely loyal mm -hmm. throughout my career. And uh, I, I think Rachel just was sort of like, let's slip this one in. Because mm -hmm. um, there's no reason that, uh, the, that Olaf needs to be played by a boy or a girl. Um, it's a puppet and so um, there's so many female, um, or there's so many cartoon characters that are male that are voiced by um, females, so mm -hmm. I just like to think that I'm giving my voice to him. Mm -hmm. Olaf is still a boy, but um, I'm giving my voice to him. Our industry hasn't been the most uh, pioneering in terms of uh, body positivity. And um, you've played roles like Tracy Turnblad in Hairspray, probably a dream role for a mm -hmm. lot of young women. Um, the character in Gigantic, which is also a T character, Taylor, Taylor mm -hmm. right? Um, also in Bring It On. Have you ever felt that you were, you were stuck in that box of playing that kind of character as a young woman? I've never had body image issues, aside from the occasional, like, you know, I feel like I need to go on a diet for some X, Y, Z reason, but I've never looked in the mirror and been like, I don't like what I see. Mm -hmm. um, that is something that I feel grateful for every day. I often tell my friends that I have like the opposite of body dysmorphia. Yeah, I like look in the mirror, I'm like, yes, that yes, girl, you look fantastic <laughs> today. Like true, like truly feel that way, yeah. which is a bit egotistical um, and a little maniacal now that I say it out loud. I think but, we should all be that. Way, yes, frankly. but I truly, yeah. I truly, I do look mm -hmm. in the mirror and I feel so happy about what I see. And so I think that is something that has carried me through my career. Mm -hmm. um, I have played the roles that um, that weight is a character in it. Yeah, and. Um, I sort of take that with a grain of salt, and uh, as I get older now, I I don't want to do I don't want to do any roles that that is the main focus of the character. Mm -hmm. If, however, it has an extremely amazing payoff in the end, mm -hmm. I will consider it. I mm -hmm. absolutely will consider it. Um, However, at this point in my life, I feel like it's not moving any sort of narrative forward for us to continue yeah. to uh, have curvy people be the butt of a joke, mm -hmm. um, for them to be constantly eating on stage, for them to, you know, all of the things that go along with that type. I think that there's been a lot of conversation, necessary conversation in the industry around gender expression and fluidity, but there has not been, um, as much conversation that we've heard about um, body type and um, and kind of this universal universal sense of body positivity, and we just wanted to see if that was your experience, and if so, why do you think that is? Um, I think it's slowly getting better. I think it stems from uh, musical theater being a or or the traditional idea of there being types, like everyone has a type. Mm -hmm. We're taught from the very beginning of our training that you need to know what your type is and you need to know exactly where you fall because if you don't know then they're not going to know so i think as actors we it's our job to if we feel that we are fully capable to play a certain character in an honest truthful way um why not try to change someone's mind mm. about that and mm. obviously there's there are stipulations like I'm not going to go in for the color purple 
because I feel like I can play Sealy. You know what I mean? Like, if there, there's yeah. obvious, you know, we need to follow, there are definitely certain rules that need to be followed. Mm. I just hope that more people and more producers start to jump on that bandwagon because um, curvy people can fall in love. Cur mm -hmm. Curvy mm -hmm. people can be the straight men and women in the show, mm -hmm. the ingenues, mm -hmm. the, um, they don't have to be the funny sidekick. Mm -hmm. um, because that's just not how the world works. Do you have a memory where you were like, that is a song out of a musical? Like this, this thing that happened to me, this could be a song in a show. Yeah, I mean, I feel like any of my previous dating stories in New York could always be songs. <laughs> I mean, the dating apps are, a crazy technolo technological world of madness. There's, I mean, there's always the case of like, you have a good messaging rapport with someone mm -hmm. and then you meet them and you're like, oh, no, 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 no. And you know within like five oh, seconds. Oh, five seconds, like, it's like an audition. It's like yeah. a, a five <laughs> seconds. And you're like, oh shit, what did I say dinner? What did I, I say know, drink? <laughs> I went on a date with this guy, he was, I'm pretty sure he lied about his age on the app. So I thought he was 26 or 27. I think he was 22. Mm -hmm. And that was apparent when I met mm -hmm. him. Just like he high-fiving me and like calling me bro and like dude. And I'm, I was like, I'm not your bro or your dude. <laughs> um, Maybe he had seen you as Olaf in Frozen. <laughs> no, this, was, this, was way before, this was way before Olaf. I paid for his whole dinner and <laughs> oh, drinks. No. And I was like, oh. he, did, he didn't even offer to be like, oh, he was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. And I wasn't gonna be like, oh no, 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 no. I was too nice. You and didn't like Venmo charge him? No. <laughs> like, I'm gonna ask him a question. <laughs> inspiration from just watching my favorite actors who are in, who are Tina Fey, Amy Poehler, Melissa McCarthy, Amy Schumer. Um, I sort of just go back to mm -hmm. any of their, I like, I love to watch a classic, uh, and by classic I mean like Bridesmaids or, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you know, that good old classic mm -hmm. Bridesmaids. Um, I, yeah, I just sort of like to explore uh, I latch on to actors that I, I love and want to emulate their um, comedic style or their dramatic style and I also love seeing comedians do dramatic work yeah. because I feel like there's such a, um, a stigma that comedians can only do comedy but honestly it, comedy comes from a lot of times some sort of hurt and I think that is an exciting thing to watch. <laughs> If you had one action item, one proactive thing that you want people who are watching this to take around body positivity, what would it be? Honestly, I think look at yourself in the mirror and if you need to say the words out loud, like give yourself positive affirmation. Like maybe you don't quite believe it yet, but I think you can say something enough times and you can trick your brain and just start believing that. Talking to Ryan was such a pleasure and we're very excited about her new song. I mean, it came out really well, right? Let's just say it's an upgrade from Mr. Bundles. You can hear Ryan's new song in a separate video, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll get an announcement. If you would like to find out more about becoming an ally, please see the resources in the description below this video.
With Draw the Circle Wide, we are committed to shining a spotlight on diversity and representation. And we hope this webisode has encouraged you to draw the circle wide in your own life.